Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. Sweden. Den Sista Resin Title. Den Sista Resin. The Last Journey. In the picturesque town of Karuna, in the heart of Sweden, a small community lived peacefully. Among them was a humble and dedicated historian named Johan Nielsen. He had spent most of his life researching Swedish history, folklore, and traditions. His greatest obsession was to unravel the mystery behind an ancient legend known as Den Sista Resin, or The Last Journey. According to the legend, there existed a mystical artifact called Eternal Snowflake, said to hold immense power that could change seasons at will. The artifact was last seen hundreds of years ago when it was taken on Den Sista Resin by an ancient Swedish king who never returned. Driven by curiosity and fascination for this legend, Johan decided to embark on an expedition across Sweden's vast landscapes and icy terrains in search for clues about the last journey. He believed that if he could find out what happened during that journey centuries ago, he might locate where the eternal snowflake had been hidden. Johan's quest took him from snowy mountains in Jukasjarvi to age-old Viking settlements in Burka. Along his path, he met several intriguing characters like Elsa, a Sami elder who shared stories passed down through generations, Magnus, an archaeologist who helped him decode runic inscriptions, and young Linnea, a tech-savvy girl aiding him with modern technology. Each encounter provided Johan with pieces of information, leading him closer to understanding Din Sister Resin. From Elsa's tales emerged accounts of extreme weather conditions faced by the ancient king during his journey. Magnus' translations revealed how they carried only one sacred object with them, the eternal snowflake. Linnea's digital research unearthed old maps hinting towards their possible route. As Johan pieced together these clues, he realized that Din's sister resin wasn't just a quest for power, but a sacrifice. The ancient king had ventured on the last journey to save his kingdom from an endless winter, taking the eternal snowflake far north into the Arctic Circle, where he intended to return it to its divine creators, thus ending its disruptive influence over the seasons. Inspired by this revelation, Johan continued his search with renewed vigor. His journey was not merely driven by academic curiosity anymore. It had become a homage to Sweden's history and resilience of its people. The tale of Johan's pursuit of Den Sister Resin captured Sweden's imagination. It rekindled interest in local history and, 